Welcome to the audio tunnel. So it is actually embedded in a glacial wall of books. But the audio tunnel was finally created to record audiobooks. And it appropriately enough uses books to muffle the sound. Now if I just pull back you can see where the reader sits here. And the reader will then kind of manoeuvre themselves in to be close so their face is really within the tunnel. The tunnel of books. I'm just going to see if we can go in there and see exactly what's going on. Um, got a quite a good light source there. And actually, note over here some strepsils. Don't really use them, but funnily enough, if you have anything in your throat that's bothering it or you're Quick suck on a strepsil for maybe five seconds actually cures quite a lot. And then I'm just going to go into the audio tunnel. So this is obviously a pop screen. Right, so I'll try and move out of the way. And <clears throat> this is the book we'd be reading the audio for. I've got especially large <laughs> framed <laughs> glasses here, so the vision is actually pretty more, more surrounding than the frames I would normally wear to have smaller lenses than that, to be honest. And then you would squeeze right in and then you're in the audio tunnel. I wonder if I could just get right in here, you might hear, that's my face, is now in the audio tunnel. You can hear the sound is somewhat muted by the books, the volumes of volumes. So these are appropriately enough unsold books. They're pretty heavy and there's some copies of the One O'Clock Gun Anthology, which make a perfect flat surface there to put this microphone on. So, this is a good microphone, but annoyingly, it's made by... Uh, is it Ride or Road? I can't... Um, it's Australian, anyway. They were... Road. Highly recommended, but strangely enough, the... the, the screw component that fixes it to a tripod or whatever doesn't fit anything that I own, so it's actually balanced on there. Um, and that's really about it. This microphone obviously goes... the annoying thing about it was it had a jack cable, uh, connection. No one uses those anymore! I should really get a USB mic, which is why I'm having to use this old tower computer here to record everything, because it's the only one that's got a a jack, so maybe get a USB mic in future. Uh, again, the problem with the tower computer is it has a noisy fan, but if we go back up the cable into back in back into the audio tunnel, this microphone is uh, supposedly called a shotgun mic, which only collects the sound in this this area here as it is. So, uh, right up at the back there, I wonder if we can see what we've got down there. Inspiration at the end of the audio tunnel. Guy Debord. Camus. Harry Harrison. Ooh, Rabelais. It's great stuff down there at the end of the audio tunnel. Uh, Button Benagogo, I can see that by Matthew Fitt. Let's have a look. Yeah, Button Benagogo. Blake, of course, and yeah, it's quite good down there. And back out. On top is a sort of snow cap of blankets and, and actually I think I'll get some more duvets to make that a bit, make that a bit um, more dense. And basically when, <laughs> when I'm in there recording I just scoop that over my head like that. So there's, a, there's an audio tunnel with, without anyone in it. But put that back up there. So. There it is. Lamington Books Audio Tunnel.